this young woman and her story it sounds like uh, you know a chapter straight from a dark web series or a movie but unfortunately for her it's true she's 20 she was 26 year old young independent beautiful full of energy dreams and passion for life never never in her wildest dreams she would have thought or anybody would have thought that her life would be chopped short in the most gruesome manner sadly at the hands of someone she trusted wanted to spend her life with i just want to pull out those uh, pictures of them together uh, the two characters in the story one is alive one already dead this couple this is a sad unfortunate chilling story of shraddha you saw just shraddha shraddha vikas walker and her lover living partner and then eventually her killer 28 year old afta punawala since morning as the details of this murder most foul are trickling in it is just extremely disturbing to imagine how this young woman's life was snuffed out in the most gruesome manner aftab a trained chef both of them like many young passionate couples met online fell in love rebelled against their families eloped and hoped to make a life together but there was no happy ending here let me now take you to the details the very very shocking details and while i keep using the word shocking it's just not enough to describe what has happened let's just very quickly ladies and gentlemen just give you a sense of what has happened let, let me tell you the story of this murder what happened with shraddha this in fact and this is these are details which have been corroborated by the police this is what uh, the this man aftab has told the delhi police inspired by dexter this man kills his living partner for those who don't know dexter dexter was a series around a serial killer a uh, very popular american series had many seasons and this man was inspired by that series a complete psychopath 26 year old shraddha was killed by her 28 year old partner aftab as i has told you both began dating while they were working at a call center in mumbai that's where they met after family didn't approve of their relationship the two eloped to delhi not very long ago just 6 months 5 6 months ago in september shraddha's friend said her mobile has been off for more than 2 months shraddha then her family lodged a missing complaint and the series of events then came to what now is being known as the infamous murder not only aftab strangulated her but after chopped her body into 35 pieces can you believe that 35 pieces this young uh, girl in fact her body was uh, completely chopped and it was these uh, the uh, visuals that you are seeing uh, it was in fact uh, for 18 days this man every night at 2 am will get out of his house with two packets in his hand will go to meheroli forest area and will dump the parts of her body then will move on and the next day live normally and then the next day will go on and then uh, in fact do the same thing he did this for 18 long days he also bought and let me tell you all the details 300 liter fridge where he stored the body the body parts of his uh, partner living partner uh, he dumped them in the meheroli forest over 18 days sources have also told uh, ndtv that after have stepped out at 2 am every day to dump this uh, to body parts why was uh, she murdered because aftab and shraddha couldn't see eye to eye because shraddha wanted to get married she wanted to they were living in together she wanted to in fact uh, go ahead and take the next step aftab lost his school strangulated her but this is not a crime of passion with the way it has been committed it seems like a very well planned in fact murder now how did the police crack this case because this was not a new case it didn't happen yesterday this murder happened 5 months back after i thought he has gotten away with it nobody will ever come to know but then police eventually did and how did that happen the missing person report was filed by shraddha's estranged father her mother passed away she lost contact with her family because the family did not approve of her relationship with afta but the father after not hearing from her or her friends or getting any details uh, on her social network facebook and other things he filed a missing complaint on november 8th i went through the entire missing complaint and what the father has written is heartbreaking ladies and gentlemen 
The missing person report was filed by the victim's father. The Mumbai police then informed the Delhi police about this case and about the accused Aftab. Location of the accused was then accessed by the Delhi police through his mobile phone. Now, the accused was nabbed by the Delhi police at Mehroli apartment. And initially, the accused tried to mislead the police. You know, gave them other stories, said she doesn't live here. Uh, I don't know where she went five months back. We fought and then she left. After stern questioning, the accused admitted to the crime and revealed all the details. The accused revealed the details of this murder and now has been sent to five-day police custody. You know, to what extent did he go to, in fact, to hide this crime? To hide the stench, to hide the stench of uh, the body decomposing, he bought incense sticks. Nobody around his house in a flat in Mehroli in South Delhi knew about what has happened inside that flat for five long months. But finally, law caught up with him. My colleague uh, Vedant has tracked, thing, you know, tracked the story entire day. He sent us a very detailed report. Take a look. Well, absolutely. A horrific murder in the national capital and really shocking details emerging. I come to you from the Mehroli forest in the national capital, which is where the 28-year-old accused, Aftab, in fact disposed of those 35 pieces of his partner's body. That is the shocking part, really, uh, you know, as per what the police have in fact revealed. And some other really shocking details in what the police have said. Remember, the murder happened back in the month of May and this man, the accused, 28-year-old Aftab, he strangled his partner to death and chopped her body into 35 pieces and stored them in a refrigerator that he particularly bought for this purpose. He stored those body pieces in that refrigerator and disposed them off here in the Mehroli forest over a period of 18 days. Now that is particularly shocking. And why did this happen? So as per preliminary investigation and what the police have said, uh, these two people were colleagues in Mumbai. Uh, the, the young girl, 26-year-old Shraddha, she used to work at a call center in Mumbai, which is where she met Aftab. And, you know, they started dating. They were in a relationship. And the family was not very encouraging of this relationship. The family uh, did not approve of their alliance. And which is why they eloped and they came to Delhi and they started living at a flat, uh, you know, in Chhatarpur, which is very close to this forest. And they were, they were living there and they used to have multiple fights. As per, you know, the, the father's statement, they used to have multiple fights over marriages, uh, over their marriage, I beg your pardon. And this particular fight was also over marriage. So according to the police, this fight happened after Shraddha sought marriage and the fight escalated and Aftab strangled her to death, chopped her body into 35 pieces and dispose them off in the Meroli uh, forest here. Now, this happened back in May. Now, the murder has surfaced, I mean, the, has come to light really now after the father of the victim filed a missing persons report first in Bombay and then in Delhi. The Mumbai police uh, informed the Delhi police, the Meroli uh, police station was informed about this incident and the police nabbed the accused uh, from his flat and he was sent, he's, he's been sent to a five-day police custody as well. So initially he was reluctant but then he agreed that he had indeed committed this horrendous crime. You know, the details really have sent shockwaves across the national capital and raised larger questions really on the kind of crime that happens you know, in isolated areas of the national capital like this one, the Mehroli Forest here in Delhi. In New Delhi with camera person Pavan Vedant for NDTV. It must be like Vedant was uh, showing us roughly, you know, quite dark in that forested area of uh, Delhi. It must be the similar kind of uh, darkness at 2 a.m. in the night when this man must be walking there with uh, those body parts in bags which he had in fact uh, uh, packed everything up and kept in that huge 300 litre refrigerator. Police sources are also telling us that uh, he might still not be telling the entire truth. So wait for it. There will be more details, in fact, in this murder coming through. But it's a very, very sad story. There is some breaking news related to the story, which is uh, coming in right now. Very quickly, just giving you more details uh, on this. NCW, the National Commission for Women, has, uh, in fact, written to the Delhi police, asking the Delhi police commissioner 
uh, to submit an action taken report with a copy of the medical reports of the victim within five days. So now the NCW has also in fact taken cognizance of this matter and they are asking the police uh, to uh, file a report as far as the, this entire case is concerned. We'll keep a very close eye on this story ladies and gentlemen.